So let's talk about the 11-3 Sport. This is an awesome board for our area. 11-3 length, 32 inches wide, so quite stable, which is nice. But what really makes this board stand out is the shape of this nose, the tail, in combination with this RSS system. So if we look at the nose on this board, we see something that's a little bit pointed. What that allows for you is a much more stable, smooth ride. Imagine on the sound here, where you've got waves against current sometimes, where the river comes into a tide, you end up with steep waves. It can happen on lakes or rivers or whatever the case is. So when you have those steep waves, if you're paddling a board with kind of a bulbous nose, imagine yourself standing on top of that board, paddling into that wave. When that bulbous nose on some of these other styles of boards hits that steep wave, the board kind of stalls and it stops. And if you're standing on top of the board, you kind of end up sort of over the handlebars. Um, causes people to fall at times or ruins your paddle, your cadence and the strength and the efficiency of your paddling. This nose, as it crushes into that sort of a wave or pushes into that wave, it doesn't get stalled the same way some other more bulbous noses do. So it's able to sort of torpedo through that wave, ride through it and be much more stable and much smoother. So as a paddling tool for our area, that's a, that's a spectacular nose. Um, the boards all have RSS, or excuse me, um, the ram mounts, as you can see. This little D-ring is nice if you're tying it to a dock or whatever the case is, helps keep your board from excess damage. As we move our way towards the stern, we see six tie points, great for lashing lots of different gear. Excellent deck board, as we've discussed, that deck pad. Coming towards the stern of the board, we see the handles that are on these boards. They're a soft touch, easy to grab hold of and carry for a long distance if you choose to. Great spot for your leash, which is a crucial safety tool. You need to have that leash all the time when you're paddling. Um, and then as we kind of speak particularly of this board, you can see that we use the fin box here. It's a USS, uh, US fin box. So it comes with a great touring fin. You can switch this out to different fins if you so choose. So that's a nice uh, standard in it. And then we spoke of the RSS system. So the RSS system gives this board added stability and added strength. So the 11.3 Sport is an awesome board for our corridor. Combine the nose with this tail, which is kind of a fairly wide tail, as you can see, so lots of stability. As you're learning to pivot turn, you're gonna be on your board and step back a little bit towards here, giving you that added little surface area here, keeps that board stable and allows you to progress your skills into things like pivot turns and cross bow turns and different things like that. So for a board that will allow you to get out on lakes or on rivers or on the ocean, carry gear, go longer distances, the 11.3 is a great board for our corridor.